Hi everyone. I thought I'd put together a little training video today on how to use the Young Judges Excel scoring sheet. Uh, when you first get the Excel sheet and you open it, you may see a little line up here at the top that'll say enable content. Because I've opened mine before, um, that won't come up anymore. But when you open it, it may say enable content. You need to click on enable content before you do anything. Once you've got the spreadsheet open, you'll see down the bottom there's a multitude of different tabs. Start with the yellow first tab, which is title, and you pop in the competition that you are doing today. And in this case, let's call it we're doing Merino Sheep. You would put in the judge's name, we'll call this person Jeff Smith. And if you want to put the location in, you can, and you want to put the date in, you can as well. Once you've done this, I suggest at this point you go File, Save As, and you save it in your C drive, your desktop, somewhere where you can easily access it so you know it's saved. The next tab you need to populate is the green results tab. You'll see here you have the entrance and all the names need to go in here for whoever is competing in this Merino Sheep competition. In this example, I'll use my own name. I will use a name called Tim Smith. I will use uh, Rachel Powell and I will use another name, Kelly Anderson. You'll see here at the moment there's still values going along because we haven't put any scores in. What is the most important in this tab in the results spreadsheet? You must put in the number of groups that you are judging. In some instances, you may only have one group of sheep to judge and you would put the number one. In this case, pretend we have two groups. We have rams and we have ewes. So we must put the number two in here. That is the, probably the biggest problem where people find the spreadsheet doesn't work. So once we've put the names in here and the number of groups, we move on to the particular groups. In this case, we'll only populate group one and group two down the bottom. So if group one up the top, when you know what you're going to judge, you're going to put in rams. And let's say the judge has given you the scores and the scores are four, three, two, one. So you will put four, then you'll press the tab button, three, tab, two, tab, one. And the judge has given you the cuts between the animals, between first and second, second and third, and third and fourth. And they've given you a cut of one, two and one. So that's for the first group of animals. Then you go along and you do the second group of animals. In this case, this is the group of ewes. And in this case, the judge's scores are three, tab, four, tab, two, tab, one. And the cuts in this case might be two, one and two. Okay, so the class is now starting because we've got the judges' places, we've got the cuts, and the results start to come in from the competitors. When the results come in, for example, let's say they have judged the group of rams first, we go back to the group one tab and we put in everybody's scores. So entrant number one, let's for example say they put in two, three, four, one, and they got a score of 44. The next one was that, we've got a score of 49. The next one was that, and the last one got it correct. So same with the second group of use. The scores come in. We don't press tab when we put the scores in. We literally type 3421 together and press return. 2341 return. Uh, 3421 got it correct. And that person got 49. Okay, so we've, we've done the visual judging now and everybody's got their scores in. When you go back to the results sheet, you'll see that those scores are here in the visual scoring and they've been doubled because we've judged two groups and so they're here. Now, in the case of sheep, there's obviously a handling score and in other competitions, there's also handling scores. Some competitions don't have it. In this instance, the judge has given you the handling score for each competitor and we have and we populated here. So out of 10, the handling score for this person might be seven. 
the next one might have got six, the next one might have got eight, and the next one might have got nine. So we put the handling scores in. Sometimes the handling scores come to you at the same time as you get the oral scores. Um, sometimes you might get them beforehand. In this instance, I've put them in, obviously, that we've got them before the oral score. But if you hadn't, you would um, you would put them in at the same time as the oral score. If you have a large group of competitors and you need to make a cutoff for who is going to speak and who is not going to who is not going to speak, if you go to this oral tab down the bottom, you'll see that at the moment this left hand arrow has ranked them in number order. But if we click the right hand arrow like this, you'll see the rank changes. It'll help you identify the top 10 who may make the visual who may make the oral component of the young judges competitions so back again left hand arrow takes us back to the, the sorting per exhibitor number and the right hand green arrow ranks switches them around and ranks them by their visual and handling scores so you can easily cut them off where you want them so once everyone's done their oral score oral competition sorry start again once everyone's done their oral component and we've got the scores in by the judge we go back to that results tab and that's where the oral score goes in for example i got let's say 39 the next person this is out of 50 next person might have got 40 next person might have got 48 and the last person um got 39 actually we'll make that 45 Okay, so at the moment, you'll see the rankings here are in not the order that you'd want. And if you had a large amount of people, you want to actually easily rank them so that you don't have to manually do it. So once you've put in the oral scores, and as you can see, all the scores are there, there's totals there, what you do is you go to the final tab. Next to the oral is the final tab. Once again, you'll see these arrows. The left-hand arrow sorts them by the numbers that they, they have been allocated on the day. And the right-hand arrow, if you can, once I click it, it'll break them into first, second, third, fourth. Ready? There you go. So easily you can identify who is first, who is second, who is third, and who is fourth without having to scroll visually through the total scores here and trying to identify it. Once again, you can click back to the number order and then you can click back to the ranking order. If you have any trouble with the spreadsheet or you don't understand what to do this red instruction sheet right at the end is really clear starting from you know point number one how to get into the sheet save it and then where to from here everything i've just basically told you but it's all there written down for you if you ever get lost the other thing i last thing i probably just wanted to show you is this print tab this print tab allows you to do individual scores for people so if an entrant comes to you and says, I'd really like to see how I went in comparison to the judge, you can just put the number up here in this top left-hand corner. So let's say it was, it was exhibitor number four who came to you and said, I'd like to know how I went. If I put four in here and press return, as you can see, the person's name comes up here, the judge's places and, and how they went in the rams and the use against the judge, as well as their handling score and oral score. So that's often a really helpful thing because you can actually show them without showing them everyone else's um, results. I think that's about it for the score sheet. Just remember, start at the beginning with the title, go to adding everyone's names in, don't forget to put the number of groups in, populate the type of group the judges places in the cuts, the second group that you're judging, when the scores come in, you go back to the specific group that you've got the scores for, you type them in here. Then the, then the next group, you type them in here. Back to the results sheet to type in any handling scores and the oral scores. And don't forget that final tab will help you rank them up in order. Hope that helps. Thanks very much, guys. See you later.